to be fought over three three minute rounds and the amateur mixed martial arts rules in the featherweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, he enters the cage with a mixed martial arts record of one defeat. Representing Pro My MMA, please welcome Wayne. Standing across the cage, fighting out of the red corner, enters with a mixed martial arts record of two victories, no defeats, representing Force MMA. Please welcome Hamza Hindi. For the way action here, fight start 14. Will Ward from Pro My MMA out of the blue corner, and Hamza Hindi from Force MMA in the red. This one's sponsored by Top Rank Sport. And Himdi is the possessor of some devastatingly fast and powerful strikes. He's lucky enough to be in Thailand training with him. Over there we're training with the likes of Jason Radcliffe. And that really just trickles down as you see there, Wobble Whoa. Street. Will Ward on Wobble Street from the strikes here from Himdi. Wow, credit to Ward, Dean. Unbelievable heart, but he has been clipped numerous occasions here. Still coming forward. And him, he's got to be tactful here. He's got to keep his hands nice and high. Work the strike, stay out of danger. Look for a home for that big heavy right hand of his. This is madness. Will Ward. He's still marching forward. It's unbelievable. He's been clipped and hurt three or four times, and he's still coming forward firing shots. I like to see him be work that rear kick. Ward's bowing his head down to the side. Beautiful level change from him, D. Perfect time in there. Now he finds himself looking to go to the side control position here. Now this could be dangerous. He's got the cage here blocking. Ward off, knee on belly. Straight to the mounted position, David. This is amazing stuff. Beautiful work from Hamza Himdi. Mixed out brilliantly. Just as Will Ward looked to be getting a little bit more comfortable on the feet. As you said, changed levels. Shot in and now in mount position and firing down. This is how you can tell Hindi has been training with the best. He knows when to implement that level change. He convinces his opponent quite awesomely with the strikes and drops down the level, looks for the mounted position. He really is a complete MMA fighter, working his way up through the ranks. And he's 2-0, never tasted defeat as he works the hammer fist down. But be careful of the sweep, however. Beautiful work from Will Ward, wow. Now that was a change of events here. Ward stayed calm under fire. And now he finds himself back on the feet, but he's got to keep these hands up and stay away from that right hand of Hindi. Will Ward is a tough dude. I, honestly, I'm in shock. Big knee from Hindi. Wow. He reaches out for that single, makes him think he's going to go for the takedown, then blasts that knee in. What is Will Ward made of? The guy is still, still coming forward now. You can see here, look, he's blowing a little bit. His mouth's open, he's trying to breathe, stuck his tongue out there. That would say to me that he's quite gassed in this position. I mean, be buying a hit as well. It doesn't mess, just mess with your equilibrium. It actually makes you feel more tired. It's such a weird phenomenon. But uh, nonetheless, Will Ward here is still standing in front of Himdi, despite having tasted those heavy shots. I love the work from Himdi there, Dean, just going to the body a couple of times there. You know, he, he's tried to get Ward out of there to the head. And those couple of times just going to the body, just beautiful mixing it up there. Again, looking for that body shot at the end. And, it, the, you know, credit to Hindi at this level. He's had a couple of amateur fights, but working things out himself during the fight, you know, starting to go to the body towards the end of that round, just mixing it up there. But, I mean, it's, it's almost like you're taking away from the amazing work from Hindi to talk about Will Ward, because uh, incredible heart. I mean, I, I didn't see Will Ward's single loss in his record, but whoever, credit to the man for, for however he built, beat Will Ward, because that is one tough guy. Unbelievable heart shown. Himdi had him out on the feet three or four times. You know, referee Sam Amidi was looking at stepping in. It's unbelievable action. I, I really am speechless. I, I wonder what Will Ward's corner team are saying to him now and how you even try and... Uh, Calm down a wild man like that. Uh, this is the only, the fourth fight of this card. So, I mean, ladies and gentlemen, if you're watching at home, almost certainly share the link on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. I mean, this card is only going to get better.
Round two. And let's see now what Ward tries to implore. Is he going to work that in and out basement? The kind of base there where you draw somebody in. Is he going to stop walking forward here? And it seems to me that he's picking his shots more carefully now in the second round. Superman punch attempt there from Hindi. Ward hands very low, very low. That's surprising considering how many shots he took and he was on Wobble Street. And almost certainly he's got a chin and grin out. Nice double leg there, level change. Straight to the canvas, passes immediately into side control. A lot of time to work in this round for Hamza Himdi. Very good work now, securing this side control position. Maybe looking to go knee on belly or maybe to the mount. Beautiful mounted. Just taking his time here, great vine in the legs. Now moving up, methodical work this is thus far from Hamza Himdi. Himdi's going to try and stay on top now. He's tasted this position four before, and Will Ward was able to get out of this position, utilizing the sweep and the hip work there. So he's going to stay nice and heavy. He's going to pick his shots and use his arms to base out there. We call that skydiving. It's almost like you've jumped out of a plane and your arms are out to either side. He wants to base on the ground to stop the sweeps there from Will Ward. Will Ward leaving his arms in danger really here. He's reaching out with his arms. But from him, this point of view, may as well just carry on striking here. He's even got one of the arms trapped now. Ward again punching from the bottom here. Often signifies that a guy's running out of ideas. Himdi pouring it on now. Referee Sam Amidi's taking a close look at this. Ward needs to improve his position. And he's got to rise up here and keep those punches coming in. Every time the referee leads in there, that tells the fighter on the top, or indeed who's kind of getting the most advantage that is close to being stopped. So he needs to start thinking about rising up and really raining down those punches, but stay heavy on his hips. Yeah, still punching up from the bottom as well, Ward. Very tough individual, but he's given that arm away again. And he's got to stay low on that belt line here, otherwise he could get in danger of being shook off the back. Managed to get both hooks in straight into the rear naked choke. This looks very close. And there's the wow. tap. Wow. Real Ward forced the tap. Hamza Himdi with a beautiful display of jiu-jitsu for him and May takes the back super fast and doesn't waste any time in getting that arm underneath the chin day. No, fantastic work from, from Hamza Himdi. And I mean, if you take it back to the roots of fighting, they talk about no tough guys can tough out a choke, you know, and, and in the end, that got the finish for him, D, after hitting Will Ward with everything but the kitchen sink in that first round. Uh, massive credit to Ward, but as an overall performance from him, he showed a lot, Dean, really showed a lot, showed good striking, good aggression, some great wrestling there, and got the submission finish. So, you know, that's a perfect performance from his point of view in the four MMA guys, credit to him. I mean, the crowd is still cheering this fight on for Will Ward and Hamza. They understand that both these fighters put it all on the line. I mean, and, and Ward showing that his chin is made of something descended from Wolverine, perhaps. But nonetheless, Hamza Hinzi switching up the game plan. That was the key for me. The ability to strike and then change to the grappling, make that effective and look for that rear naked choke. Yeah, that was the impressive thing mixing up. And we mentioned even on the feet in the first round when he started going to the body towards the end, showing a very high level of fight IQ there. Fighters and center, please. Ladies and gentlemen, at a time of two minutes, 35 seconds of the second round, your winner by rear naked choke in the right corner, Hamza Himdi. And show your appreciation, please, for his opponent this evening, Will Ward.